Hi everyone. Just want to show you this homemade transformer I built and I'm just going to turn it on and show you how it works and then I'm going to explain what it's built from and how it's built. So I have a battery charger transformer here and I'm just going to power up the secondary um, coil on this homemade transformer with 12 volts AC and I have a 120 volt AC uh, 300 watt spotlight hooked up to the secondary coil. So I'm going to be using this as a step up transformer right now. So you can see that it powers the um, 300 watt light, no problem. So now I've just hooked up a cord to the primary coil on the homemade transformer and I'm just going to plug it in and then take some voltage readings. So you can hear it as a nice healthy hum to it and let's see what we have on the so on the secondary here the 27 volts if you can see that 27 volts and across this coil here smaller coil 3.2 volts now if I mark out this coil here let's see how much current there is now what I built this transformer out of was a half horse electric furnace fan motor um, also called a squirrel cage motor or an induction motor and you can see the sticker on here and this was the stator from the electric motor you can see all the little channels where the windings went through and what I've done is I have just unwound this stator and I've just wrapped in the coil winding from the stator, from the uh, electric motor, this is the heavier wire inside the motor. Um, there was also a thinner wire and a really tiny wire as well. Um, and this was, this is copper, this was aluminum, um, and this was aluminum, unfortunately. But now that is the leftover wire from the motor, and there was a thinner wire, which was aluminum. Um, and there was also this pile of copper that I took out and this is all copper it's fairly thin could be reused for something so how I wound this transformer was I used the coil winding from the induction motor and I've wrapped it started from one side and I went wrapped around this stator and I went from one end and then back and back and forth, back and forth, and wound in the entire uh, roll of the wire from the the uh, from the motor. And you can see there's I'm not sure how many turns. I, I think there was about 180 turns. I'm not sure. That's just an approximate uh, number. And then I've used just household. This is 12 gauge wire. I had a big pile of old wire uh, laying around. That the casing was all rotting off of it so I just stripped off the casing and I reused this 12 gauge wire copper wire and I've also put a 6 gauge coil at the front here uh, it only has a few turns and this uh, gives you um, a low voltage but high current uh, out of this coil now it's fairly easy to build this isn't the optimal um, design of transformer you want. This is a battery charger transformer and they have the um, the primary coil and then the secondary coil uh, right on top of each other and then there's an iron core in the center and so this works much more efficiently than the one I've built here but the idea of this was to build a, trans a working transformer from um, from junk and, uh, or from an electric motor. So this is what I came up with. Well, that is my homemade transformer built from an electric 120 volt motor. 
Thank you for watching.